The Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy has moved on to Rally Poland for round two. Featuring some of the fastest roads on the calendar, the spectacular Missourian Lake District is the host for this spectacular event, with the 11 young drivers all hoping to make their mark in identical Fiesta R2s. After the first round in Portugal, it's young Max Vattenen who leads the way after taking the win at the opening round. The Finn with a 10-point lead in the title race ahead of Marius Arsen. So Vattenen and Arsen would hope to build on their early success. But for one of the DMAC Trophy's rookies, the season is much more of a learning experience. Will Hudson's first WRC event in Portugal ended in dramatic fashion, but the young American still had reason to be positive. Well, at first it was definitely nerve-wracking to be there, you know, in the WRC for the first time. and. Uh, definitely didn't really know what to expect as far as how the pace was going to be compared to the other guys as these European kids have a lot, lot of experience and I uh, was really happy with the way um, some of the stages went with our times and yeah, you know, we, we definitely didn't end up in a good position on the roof, but overall it was uh, really positive. Nicola Samioni, meanwhile, is one of a small number of drivers who have experience of the Polish stages. The Lebanese driver competed here last year, and despite most of the route being new for 2015, the experience gained could be crucial. When you're just coming here already, knowing the terrain, knowing how the surface, how the car would react on this kind of surface, even if the stage is new, it's, it's not like being in a completely new rally, so it's really important being here, doing the rally last year. And they're just like combined uh, a runway, like a runway, then a junction, another uh, a runway. If you put wings on the cars, I think they will fly. All the pre-event talk was the sheer speed of the stages here in Poland, and at such high speeds, there is little room for error. As American driver Will Hudson soon found out, the crew escaping unharmed from a dramatic off in stage five, but the damage sustained mean they won't feature again this weekend. It's already been a breakthrough event for championship rookie Mats van den Brand, the Dutch youngster claiming his first drive DMAC fastest time in stage six. Van den Brand's newfound confidence leaves him in third at the end of day one. Yeah, I'm very happy. Our speed is uh, better than expected. I like the stages. They are very fast. And uh, now the car improved a little bit compared to Portugal because we're driving the gem fuel. We have more power. Uh, we did some simulator tests back home and I think we improved the notes and yeah, with stage 7 we had the quickest time and yeah, I'm happy with the speed and with my navigator. Last year's runner-up Tom Cave had a frustrating time last time out in Portugal and he'll be desperate for a good points haul in Poland. It's so far so good for the 23-year-old consistent pace and the stage win in 8 leaves Cave in second place. That despite an off-road excursion late in the day. I had plans, same as today, we keep pushing. Um, this morning I was a little bit hesitant in the junctions, I was braking twice and you know when you look at the stage times at the end it's always like a few tenths slower so I managed to change that this afternoon, it seems, it seems to have worked, so tomorrow should be a good day. But leading the way after the opening nine stages is Norwegian Marius Arsen, runner-up in Portugal. Arsen is on course to go one better this time out and claim what would be a maiden victory in the Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy. It's been a very good day for, uh, for us. We have been through all the stages without any, any problems at all. And uh, I'm feeling very comfortable with the car and the tires. Things working good, so I'm very happy. So, confirmation of the standings after day one. Arsene just 7.4 seconds ahead of K. Vandenbrand third. And Portugal winner Max Vattenen in fourth.